Human Ego Synthesis. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 261. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 261, March 25th, 2018 edition. Before we jump into the updates, today I'd like to talk about human ecosynthesis. And what that would be is humanity's synthesis, hopefully in a mutually beneficial way, with ecology, with the ecology of our planet. It's about living sustainably and living for the highest good of ourselves, humanity, and all life on our planet. And we think, as an organization, that the time has come to do this, to create models of living that are supportive of our natural environments, supportive of our surrounding communities, and supportive of our larger community that is humanity, and supporter of the even lar- supportive of even larger uh, community that is all life on this planet. Right now, it seems that we're, I think most people would agree, that we're moving in a direction that is truly not sustainable. And objectively, scientifically, they've been measuring this for quite some time, and they realize that our resources are not going to last if we continue to do what it is that we're doing. And our planet is not doing very well as far as our ecosystems are concerned, as far as our wildlife is concerned, and the oceans, as well as on land. I mean, we're destroying things pretty efficiently and pretty effectively because we've become so efficient and effective through technology and harvesting the resources that we want and getting what we want without consideration for how that's going to impact us as a species long term. And so human ecosynthesis is about creating a model for living that doesn't do that anymore, that minimizes the damage that we're doing or is that even that is even more beneficial, gives more than it takes. And so one community is that model. It takes the foundations of physical sustainability, combines them with the foundations that we've identified for emotional sustainability, and puts it together in a teacher demonstration hub model designed to create sustainable living models all over the world, working in cooperation and collaboration to create, for the first time in human history, a truly sustainable civilization for all of humanity. And if you run the numbers, it's possible to do within our lifetime, to create a sustainable world within our lifetime. If you imagine 50 people coming together and starting a project like One Community, which is exactly what we're doing, and if those 50 people and that and One Community can inspire two additional models the next year of another 50 people each or more, and then the year after that, if those three together, One Community and the two they've inspired, could inspire four more, and then the year after that, inspiring eight more and then 16, and then 32, and 64, and so on and so forth. If you run that process out for 30 years, we can positively touch the lives of every single person on this planet and include every single person on this planet that would want to participate. We could simultaneously address homelessness, hunger and starvation, social injustice and equality, war, uh, as well as crime and poverty. All of these things can be addressed simultaneously through a model like this if it becomes widespread and mainstream. The resources exist right now to meet the needs of all people. Distribution of those resources is currently not in such a way that can do that. And our synthesis, our integration with nature is currently, I think most people would agree, one that is of conflict rather than synthesis. And we would like to change that. We would like to demonstrate that humanity is capable of stewarding the planet in a way that is beneficial for us, humanity, and all life on the planet through an open source, do-it-yourself replicable model. And this is what one community is creating. Our idea of human ecosynthesis is teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world, designed to integrate in with the natural environment to the best of our ability to create, uh, to to not only avoid destroying these natural environments, but to rejuvenate and rebuild these environments to support nature, to integrate nature into our lives, to synthesize ourselves, our population in with nature in such a way that is sustainable and can last indefinitely so that we can meet the needs of all people in a way that is sustainable.
here on Earth. We don't need to go to another planet to do this. We can turn this planet around, regenerate our planet, and meet the needs of all people if we start living and creating for the highest good of all. And so that concept of touching everybody is decades down the road, but it starts right now. And it actually started seven years ago with this project. And it's not just our idea. There's lots of small projects that are starting right now with this concept. But to our knowledge, we're the farthest along in the process of creating the complete comprehensive model with all the different villages and everything you see happening in the background of this video, the education model, the economic models, the fulfilled living models, all of these things, putting them all together in one place as a step-by-step -step instruction guide to creating a human ecosynthesis living model that can be usable by anyone, anywhere, and will provide a way of living that we think most people will consider to be significantly better than the way they're living right now. Bringing the resources to the people and places that need them most, while simultaneously providing a way for people to live anywhere in the world in a model that is sustainable, that provides a higher quality food, you know, clean air, clean water, more recreational activities and things to do with your time, more time to do those things, all in one place, cooperating and collaborating with other organizations and groups doing the same thing, working to create a better world for everybody. A human ecosynthesis that will benefit all people and all life everywhere more and more as the model spreads. This is what one community is about. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments and we're an all volunteer team. We're all unpaid, uh, nonprofit organization. This is what our all volunteer team has done. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working toward this idea of human ecosynthesis. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished the rest of the Cobb Village cost analysis page, some of which you can see here. The core team also developed the next steps for the rest of the shipping container village layout within the seven villages book we're developing. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village AutoCAD layout updates. Here's update 106 of Dean's work. This week he continued development of the landscaping details, added the playground equipment, and the roads. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 48th week of work that created this version 1.0 of zones 6 and 19. And Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 10th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week she created the three final renders you see here. These renders are now live on the website also. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by addressing the areas identified by the core team. This included creating a dead load calculation table for the restroom on the first floor, adding functional area figures for second and third floor, revising the beam design chapter of the live load and dead load report, and adding a beam layout sketch to the appendix. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 15th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplicle City Center. This week's focus was further research into mini-split application and beginning the AutoCAD design process, as shown here. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 67th week working on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing fixing errors and filling in the final details on the lighting spreadsheet and beginning testing different lighting strategies for the basement. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the complete highest good food rollout plan and cost analysis. We began writing detailed information of activities for the initial three people and added items and links to the details list for 20 to 50 people, as shown here. In addition, the core team continued research and development of the open source permaculture design for the property. This week, we started evolving our zone plan by further exploring property elevations, water flow, 
road access, and structure placement. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued developing the lesson plan's how-to tutorial page. This week, we wrote the final example lesson plan called the Advanced Learners Reserved Example. You can see some of this new content here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, tested approaches to improve our search engine usability on mobile devices. What you see on the left of this picture is the new mobile presentation. On the right of the picture is the desktop version. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Shubhar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team created the time log screen, updated Ember CLI version from 2.17 to 3.0, fixed the errors in the radio button showing the active-inactive status of the project, implemented the functionalities of canceling tasks, fields editable by admins only, tooltip hover, and transitioned back to the projects page once the project is created and saved. And we launched beta version 1.0 of the software for the initial testing. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of human ecosynthesis, synthesizing humanity into the natural environment in such a way that can regenerate, rebuild our planet, and create a foundation of sustainability that invites everybody to participate, creating a sustainable world for everybody, living and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog or visit our website. All the details are there. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or subscribe to any one of our social media networks and manage your updates that way. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or visit any of our social media networks. And you can help out just by liking or sharing our posts there. And... Uh, Thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. All donations go to forwarding our mission. None of those go to paychecks. I'm not paid for what I'm doing. Neither is anybody else on our team. So 100% of donations go to supporting our website infrastructure and everything else involved in running a global nonprofit, but it doesn't go to paychecks. So if you're somebody who's donated, thank you for that. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the comments we get. Thank you for the shares we get. And uh, thank you for your support in whatever way works best for you. We do appreciate it. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on.